Today is Friday. I took Thursday off. I'm going to go after Tommy cover now. And then it's decision time making. Because I think I've gotten to the extent of my knowledge. Well, I don't know how the pros feel about this. But it seems like even the easiest things end up being not so easy. Uh, it looked like there was just eight bolts on the front of the uh, timing cover. But there's actually ten. There's one coming up the bottom right there. And one coming up the bottom right there. As you can see, he didn't even want to come out. He has zero clearance between him and whatever's below him. So he didn't want to come out. And I'm thinking to myself, well, he'll be just that much more of a bitch to put in. So if he wants to hang out there, I'm going to let him hang out there. He has a 10 millimeter, and uh, just for the sake of completeness, there will be nine in the timing cover bolt bag, and what is that, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's nine of them, and the bottom ones are the same as uh, the rest of them, but sadly, uh, the oil pump and everything else is as ugly nasty brown as uh, like burnt color as the uh, as the driver's side valve train so I don't know what the fuck's going on if it's too hot oh, man, I don't know that's all I got to say about that I don't know did I mention that I'm by no means a mechanic I have no idea whether the camshaft position sensor needs to be removed to get the cam out or not, but just to be on the safe side. All right. Now, the question is to label or not to label? That is the question. Camshaft position sensor. You should be able to remember that, right? I don't know what that tall guy is next to him, but that's the camshaft position sensor. Uh, pull the plug and remove the 10 millimeter bolt. Going to take it out so that it doesn't cause me any problems when I try to take cam out. It probably won't. I better be safe than sorry. Camshaft position sensor has been labeled with sevens on it. So that's that. Here comes the bolt. I actually have good lighting in here. So uh, this is pretty typical of how things go. You watch videos on it and people seem to do it without any problem whatsoever. And then you go to remove it, and you can't, no matter what I try. I twist it and pull, twist and pull, straight and pull. Everything I try, it won't come out. Isn't that fucking great? So I had thoughts about going after the uh, oil pump next, but apparently the oil pump is connected to the pump pickup, which is down in the pan, and you got to drop the pan a little bit. It was like 6,000 scary steps to do that. So in order to feel like I had some sort of sense of accomplishment, we'll take that top timing. Although, timing. Alright, so before taking this timing sprocket off, I made sure that I aligned a little notch in the 6 o'clock position. And I'm guessing that the other sprocket is lining up with it, if I could see that. But uh, I see where it's straight down in the 6 o'clock position. Which also means that the number one cylinder is at top dead center. And there's our number one cylinder and it is at top dead center. So I think that's the proper procedure. Not 100% sure, but that sure looks like top dead center to me. And that looks like the notch is straight down to me. So getting ready to remove. All right, three bolts on the front. Or you guessed it, 10 millimeter. They're coming off. All right. We are just four bolts away from the prize. Here comes the 
camshaft triangular cover off thingy. All right, sprocket had three 10 millimeters. Triangle had four. The cam cover, those guys are shorter than those guys. So the one on the far right is a cam cover. The one's on the left, three on the left. Go right there. Four shorter guys. Go there, 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 and there. And we are moments away from the camshaft itself. So, per the internet, we get some water pump bolts and pop them in. As I so seeing as how I took such great care of noting where the water pump bolts were, it doesn't make sense to get them all confused now. So I believe I'm going to use those coming underneath. I'm going to use the cleanest ones, which will be the top two. That one, that one, and that one. I've taken it one step further. Call me Amal Retentive. But that guy is now number three. That guy's number four. And that guy's number five. Let's see how this ends up on the other end. Alright. Moment of truth. Here comes the camshaft. Stuck again. I've run out of room. I've run out of room. Stupid AC. We're out. You can bring the light up. The prize. The camshaft. 